Hello to chapter 31 of Moby Dick by Herman Melville. And this chapter is titled Queen Mab. Next morning, Stubb accosted Flask. Such a queer dream, King Post, I never had. You know, the old man's ivory leg? Well, I dreamt he kicked me with it. And when I tried to kick back, upon my soul, my little man, I kicked my leg right off. And then, presto, Ahab seemed a pyramid, and I, like a blazing fool, kept kicking at it. But what was still more curious, Flask, you know how curious all dreams are, through all this rage that I was in, I somehow seemed to be thinking to myself, that after all, it was not much of an insult, that kick from Ahab. Why, thinks I, what's the row? It's not a real lag, only a false one. And there's a mighty difference between a living thump and a dead thump. That's what makes a blow from the hand flask fifty times more savage to bear than a blow from a cane. The living member, that makes the living insult, my little man. And, and thinks I to myself all the while, mind, while I was stubbing my silly toes against that cursed pyramid, so confoundedly contradictory was it all, all the while, I say, I was thinking to myself, what's his leg now but a cane, a whalebone cane? Yes, thinks I, t'was only a playful cudgeling, in fact, only a whaleboning that he gave me, not a base kick. Besides, thinks I, look at it once, why the end of it, the, the foot part, what a small sort of end it is, whereas if a broad-footed farmer kicked me, there's a devilish broad insult. But this insult is whittled down to a point only. But now comes the greatest joke of the dream flask. While I was battering away at the pyramid, a sort of Badger-haired old merman with a hump on his back takes me by the shoulders and slews me round. What are you about? says he. Slit. Man, but I was frightened. Such a fizz. But somehow, next moment I was over the fright. What am I about? says I at last. And what business is that of yours I should like to know, Mr. Humpback? Do you want a kick? By the Lord, Flask, I had no sooner said that than he turned round his stern to me, bent over, and dragging up a lot of seaweed he had for a clout. What do you think I saw? Why, thunder alive, man, his stern was stuck full of marlin spikes with the points out. Says I on second thought, I guess I won't kick you, old fellow. Why stop, said he, why stop, and kept muttering it all the time, a sort of eating of his own gums like a chimney hack, seeing he wasn't going to stop saying over his why stop, why stop, I thought I might as well fall to kicking the pyramid again, but I had only just lifted my foot for it when he roared out, Stop that kicking! Aloha, says I. What's the matter now, old fellow? Look ye here, says he. Let's argue the insult. Captain Ahab kicked ye, didn't he? Yes, he did, says I. Right here it was. Very good, says he. He used his ivory leg, didn't he? Yes, he did, says I. Well, then, says he, why stop? What have you to complain of? Didn't he kick with right goodwill? It wasn't a common pitch pine leg he kicked with, was it? No, you were kicked by a great man and with a beautiful ivory leg. Stop, it's an honor. I consider it an honor. Listen, why stop? In old England, the greatest lords think it great glory to be slapped by a queen and made a garter knight of. But be 
your boasts up, that ye were kicked by old Ahab and made a wise man of. Remember what I say, be kicked by him, account his kicks honors, and on no account kick back, for you can't help yourself. Why stop? Don't you see that pyramid? With that, he all of a sudden seemed somehow in some queer fashion to swim off into the air. I snored, rolled over, and there I was, in my hammock. Now, what do you think of that dream flask? I don't know. It seems a sort of foolish to me, though. Maybe, maybe. But it's made a wise man of me, flask. Do you see uh, Ahab standing there sideways looking over the stern? Well, the best thing you can do, Flask, is to let the old man alone. Never speak to him. Whatever he says. Aloha. What's that he shouts? Hark. Masthead there. Look sharp, all of ye. There are whales hereabouts. If you see a white one, split your lungs for him. What do you think of that now, Flask? Ain't there a small drop of something queer about that, eh? A white whale? Did ye mark that, man? Look ye, there's something special in the wind. Stand by for it, Flask. Ahab has that bloody on his mind. But, Mom, he comes this way. So... That was chapter 31. Bye-bye till next time with chapter 32, which is called, no, titled, Cetology.